Hello guys, my name is Keyshawn and in today's video we are going to be attempting the Testel Cyber Defense Pro 2.4.6 configure a captive portal. Um, so I have it open on the second one. The scenario, you are a security analyst for a small corporate network. You want to make sure that guests visiting your company have limited access to the internet. You've chosen to use PFSense captive portal feature. Guests must pass through this portal to access the internet. In this lab, your task is to access the PFSense management console Add a captive portal zone named Wi-Fi guests using the guest Wi-Fi interface configure portal as follows and allow the following Mac and IP address to pass through the portal. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. This is going to be my first attempt at this lab. Alrighty, so we are going to log in. Admin. Word, very secure. So firstly, add a captive portal zone named Wi-Fi guest. Find captive portal zone. Captive portal. Add all the Wi-Fi dash guest. Just copy this. Oh, not too. Hard to understand. Okay. So, guess Wi Fi interface. Here to portal as follows. Allow maximum current connection. Connections 50. Disconnect user from the internet if their connection is minutes. Idle timeout minutes. Clients will be captured. Um, okay. Team. Disconnect user from the internet after 45 minutes, regardless of their. Okay, 45 minutes to work. Hard time on minutes, clients will be after this amount of time, regardless. Yeah, so this will be 45. Limit users' downloads and uploads to 7,000 and 100 kilobytes, respectively. Clients will just. Per user, per user bandwidth, 7,000. Or up. So that's very slow. Forced to pass through your portal prior to authentication. Force pass through prior to authentication. Pass through model entry. Save this back to that. All right, allow the following MAC and IP addresses address to pass through the portal. Fill a MAC. Add a new one. Pass. MAC address. Same for the address. Add. IP address. Security analyst. Um, so always lot. You can do both. Okay. 
Sorry, I, I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background. So this should actually be around my correctly. Use from to always allow access to an address through the capture portal. So you have to sign in through the portal without authentication. Use two to allow access from all clients and even non authenticated ones behind the portal to this I believe that'll be from but I guess let's see I think so just because it says allow access to the address through the capture portal so you have to go through the, through the portal first oh whoops uh no IP address must be identified one ninety one Twenty-eight, one hundred sixteen. What? Not letting me. Forward slash or backslash like this. I can do it like this. Oh, it's, yeah, it's right here. Why is it 90.28.1.1? Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me go back to... Figure out force to pass through your portal prior to authentication. Let's go ahead and save it. Let me score the lab. Oh, so everything was correct. So don't. Hmm. So let me just figure out how I'm gonna find this. Make sure it's set to both. So it's not from, it would be. Drop this one. Authentication set to none. Don't authenticate. Under authentication, use the drop down menu and select none. Don't authenticate. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and try that again and fix uh, this issue. All right, so this is going to be the second attempt. Uh, I'm actually just going to show you guys so like what I did wrong versus go through the whole lab again. Um, I'm sure you guys just probably just want to see me do it correctly. So force, uh, force to pass through your portal prior to authentication. So we got this bit wrong last time, and it said under authentication, Authentication, use an authentic authentication back and geez, I cannot speak. It would have been uh, none. Don't authenticate users at all. All right, so we're going to have that selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up. The, I, I guess I guess just finish it up right now, actually. 
MAC address, add, quickly add this. Save. IP address. By 16. Security MS laptop. Save. Save that? I did save it. Hopefully I saved it. No, I did not. I did not. Now we saved it. Sure, address that's correct. IP address is correct. All right, now we should be good. There we go. Yeah, so all I had to do was just change the authentication uh, from, I believe it was authenticated to uh, none, don't authenticate. So thank you guys for watching the video. That is going to be our, what is this one called? That one's gonna be our 2.4.6 configure a captive portal in the CompTIA test out cyber defense pro uh, little course lab that i'm doing for my school if you guys have any questions or if you want to just leave a comment down below feel free thank you guys for watching and have a good day